the banking industry is expected to grow by 5% from 2019 to 2029. This is slightly faster than the average for all occupations. Take control of your career and compensation right now. It's your five minute career hack. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the banking industry is expected to grow by 5% from 2019 to 2029. This is slightly faster than the average for all occupations. The median annual wage for banking and related financial services professionals was $68,050 in May 2019. For this podcast, I interviewed a 25-year recruiter in the banking industry to provide some insider tips and insights around careers in banking. Grab your journal or take notes on your phone and get ready for five insights and tips provided by that individual. Number one is a myth buster. You do not have to have banking experience to qualify for a job in banking. Many people believe they have to be great at math or have an advanced degree in accounting or similar discipline. That is simply not true. If you are interested in banking and want to break into this field, chances are you possess some of the skills banks are looking for. You have to be able to communicate them in an interview. Number two, this is the most important skill for someone looking to get into the banking industry. Interpersonal skills. Interpersonal skills are the abilities to enable people to effectively interact and communicate with one another. These skills include communication, active listening, empathy, problem solving, and conflict resolution. Having strong interpersonal skills is essential for developing and maintaining positive relationships with others. It is also beneficial for almost all careers, not just banking, as it can help you to navigate the workplace and build strong professional relationships with your colleagues. Number three, listening. Listen rather than talking in this industry is everything according to this industry insider. There will be no cues when interacting with customers, whether they have millions or just $5. And your ability to serve individuals and groups without bias is vital. By listening in this industry, you will be able to support a customer and their goals and dreams, but you could also shed light on additional vehicles that they can take advantage of that they may have not been aware of prior to talking with you. Creating this value for a customer will turn into longstanding relationships and therefore profitability for an organization. Number four, asking questions. This is when listening turns into active listening. Active listening is an important communication skill that involves listening with full attention, understanding the speaker's message clearly and providing feedback in a respectful and non-judgmental way. Being present and not allowing yourself to simply jump to a resolution in your head while the other person is speaking will go a long way in the banking industry. And at this point, if you're asking follow-up questions for clarity and to truly understand a customer's needs, you win in the banking industry. If you have prior experience in this area, that you can showcase during the interview process that will absolutely help you land a job. Number five, transferable skills. Whether you have experience or not, do not discount your transferable skills that directly correlate to the needs of some of the banks on your radar. How you customize your resume will be important. Here are a few transferable skills that have not already been mentioned. Don't think ledgers or 70s, 80s banking because the computer technology does most of the work for you in banking. Again, you don't need an accounting background. Stability. It costs approximately $26,000 to hire one person on average. So showing your ability that you're someone they can count on is so important. Banks will prefer that you have a long tenure of employment with them because that will also turn into a long lasting relationship with its customers. Your assessment skills will play a major part in landing a job in the banking industry. Being able to illustrate this for a recruiter and hiring manager during the interview process will go a long way. Problem solving. Not every customer will be happy when they walk in the door. And whether that is due to an issue that they perceive as the bank's fault 
or something that may be happening or experience, they may be experiencing outside of the bank's responsibility. When they come in the door, they're looking for you for a solution. Most jobs require problem solving skills. So have several examples of times in your past experience that you effectively solved problems for your organization and customers. Noticed I said problems with an S. And for your bonus hack this week, know your past potential red flags for hiring managers and address it in the interview process so you can set that hiring manager or recruiter's mind at ease. Whether that is a longer career break or anything else that might be a question in your work history, address it on the front side with confidence. The job outlook for the banking professional is positive, and there's a broad range of career opportunities available. The highest paying fields are securities, commodities, and financial services sales agents, loan officers, and personal financial advisors. These professionals earned a median annual wage of $67,000, $63,000, and $87,000 respectfully. Your past experience, if it's not in banking, could enable you to negotiate for more than the median. So don't hesitate to ask when you correlate. Let us know in the comments or reviews for this episode if this sheds some light on an industry that you are attempting to break into or you're looking to grow in. I love you. Now the five minute career hack, we call this hacking. Look at you, you just did it. And you don't have to stop here. Take one step every week and ensure that you are pouring into you and getting closer to your career goals. Yep, you see that button down there? Hit subscribe, but don't stop there because you know what they say, sharing is caring. So take five and we'll see you next week.